and welcome to this series of videos. In this video and the continuing parts of the sessions, we will go over the use of Bentley Ecosim Building Designer V8i. I am working in Select Series 6, but these methods apply back to at least Select Series 5, if not Select Series 4. And likely will apply further on after that. If you are using anything later than SS6, keep in mind that some locations of the commands I'm using may have changed in the intervening versions of the software. We're going to start by closing out a couple of things. We're using a specific deployment for CH2M we're going to be using AccuDraw. We will be using some keyends. We will also be using this compound cell library and our DEM uh, toolbar. To find all of these, we're going to start under Tools toolboxes and you scroll down and you're going to find our compound cells. These are going to allow us to use models that have already been created by our enterprise level folks. Your DEM tools are here under building designer, drawing extraction manager is DEM. I'm going to turn on the main toolbar. Next we will use the key in. This is utilities up at the top. And lastly we are going to use the AccuDraw which is here under settings. AccuDraw. If you accidentally turn any of these off, AccuDraw typically is on, but if for whatever reason you've managed to close it, that's where you find it. I run into this quite frequently. Normally it should have this auto load checked if it doesn't show up every time you launch the uh, software, and that's where you fix it. We keep these docked because I use them nearly every time I am in the software. Next is the button bar. You will see me use this quite often. This button bar can be found down here under snap mode. If you right click, sorry, left, left click, you can turn on button bar. Selecting AccuSnap allows you to toggle in your look and feel. Setting up, or if your seed has been set up correctly, these following things should not apply. But occasionally you will find that this ACS plane and ACS plane snap are turned on. While this is useful in some instances, I prefer not to use it as we will be using a tentative snap to make sure we're selecting the proper location. When you're dealing in 3D space, it is very easy to get out of sorts and end up modeling hundreds of feet in the air and not even realize it. Toggling this axis on and off can be helpful, especially if you're working in right angles. I prefer to leave it off because that is simple to toggle off and on by using the a combination of keys that we will get into. And same goes with unit. Normally this element selection window is off on its own somewhere. I prefer to dock it down here at the bottom because as you are modeling within Ecosim there is a myriad of options and things that will pop up in this element selection window having it right here is extremely useful. And while I typically leave the fold building designer tasks open, 
you could also limit this down to just the solids modeling. We will be modeling in solids. We, I do not typically model in forms or in uh, planes. It just ends up causing more issues than it's worth. You may use some of the tools under drafting, but with the building designer tasks, most of this is easily accessible through the top bar here. If you need to make a block or a irregular polygon, we can do that easily enough. A couple other tools that I like to keep out. We have your modify. Sorry, let's see, this one is we have our move, which is number three. Manipulate toolbox. You can select this down at the bottom as open up as a toolbox. And then modify toolbox. I keep these with docked as well because I use them quite frequently. Those are your basic tools that you should have open. If you're working within the CH2M for our processes, make sure you have your applicable uh, function set, whether you're electrical, architectural, whatever it may be. Because if you're using some of our uh, compound cells and our cell libraries and whatnot, is required in some instances to have the appropriate function set to use the menus within CH2M applications. Okay, so that is the standard setup that I use and how to find those individual items. Last couple, if you have managed to accidentally close any of this. Your building designer tasks show up under tasks here. Your primary tools and attributes are here. Again, I keep these all docked. A specific location is for a workflow. Back over there. Okay, and that is it for this video. We're strictly setting things up. When ready, you can either replay it if you missed something or move on to number two.